You're listening to the Monday Night Community Show with Daniel on BRFM. Right, so we're now joined with Janine and we're continuing to catch up with the artists that um, have had projects in Space Invaders. We're at the launch at the moment, we're at the Blue Town Heritage Centre. Uh, firstly, thank you very much for speaking to us. Thank you. I was wondering perhaps if we could start off firstly by you telling us a little bit about yourself as an artist in general and um, your work. Um, well, I make sculpture and photographs from found materials and um, I find materials that evoke some sense of history um, and fiction and I like to play with these materials um, and collage them um, and the, the photographs that I've done recently at um, Swale House are a um, combination of objects I've found in the building, some employees, and I've tried to find kind of ig- exotic locations or locations that I can make exotic by the way that I appropriate objects. And I was going to ask, how did you come to choose Swale House? Well, I really liked um, the architecture and um, the colours and there was something kind of... Um, it kind of needed something, um, some kind of storytelling or some something to change its sort of sense of utilitarianism and it's quite stark inside and there are all of these um, plastic plants that are from the 70s or 80s that kind of say, like from what I remember it's very sort of 70s when you very 70s it. very brown but lots of areas that I could see I could adapt or tease out a story or change in some way so that's what I sort of used as the basis of the project. So have you ever done any projects like this before? Um, I normally find the locations or the objects and I start from the point of recognising something so this was a kind of um, almost the other way round because the, the 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 space is very bare so i almost added things to it to bring out the narratives in the work so um i've worked in odd spaces before um but not quite a council building <laughs> Um, how did you sort of hear about space invaders are you local to us or did you come across it some other way um I was born in Kent, um, yeah. but I live in London, and I heard about the project um, via Nicole Mollett, who um, I've done a few projects with over the years, um, and I studied with Nicole. Uh, we finished back in 2000 at Middlesex University. That's how I know her. All right, I didn't realise that. Didn't realize that. Yeah, no, I've known her for since she was 17. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, if our listeners would like to find out more about your work, do you have a website? Yep, um, the website is www.janinewollard.com and there's um, other works of mine and links and some text and um, uh, and you can see all of my work there. Thank you very much for speaking to us and telling us all about your work in Space Invaders. Thank you. So we're now joined with Simone. We're at the Blue Town Heritage Centre. And what we've been doing is catching up with the artists who have been involved in the Space Invaders project. Uh, firstly, thank you very much for speaking to us, Simone. Thank you. Now, I was wondering perhaps if we could start off by you telling us a little bit about yourself as an artist in general. Yes, I started as a video artist, as a photographer first, and then as a video artist. And I've done um, quite a lot of... Uh, a wide variety of work, but I've done lots of work for uh, cultural institutions and museums, uh, the main museums in London, and um, I quite like that. It's um, part of my work was to reinterpret the museum's collections and exhibits. But I've also done quite a lot of work with um, um, people from different communities, uh, from Native American communities in uh, uh, in U.S. reservations to um, 
um, communities in Bristol, in London, and I just came across uh, the Isle of Sheppey. Um, I was going to ask you that, actually. How did you come across this? Um, I saw it advertised on uh, arts jobs, I think, and it sounded a really interesting... Um, a really interesting project, especially because it was called S- Space Invaders, and that triggered my curiosity. And I thought, okay, what is this about? Let me just, I just like the title, and I, it is very much like that. I think, you know, about being an artist from outside, you are a bit of a space invader that you go into a place. And yeah, you, I suppose so, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, did um, the island attract you as well, the fact it was on an island? Totally. I um, researched where the island was because I wasn't sure. I'm Italian, I lived in London for many years, but I really didn't know where the Isle of Sheppey is. And uh, I thought, I was quite surprised because it was very close to London, it's not too far at all. The idea of the island, I loved it because I come from an island myself and the fact that it was quite secluded, like in winter time, I also really liked that. Um, you know, living in London, you, you do often need a break and uh, when I came here, it was visually stunning. There's so many things for a filmmaker to film about, or I could stay here for a year and still, you know, have things to film. I really loved it. I was wondering if you could tell our listeners a little bit about your work for Space Invaders. Yes, uh, my proposition was to to film locations um, of uh, so different locations from the island. And um, the Space Invaders organisers, they also asked me, they said, well, would you be interested in doing something with um, uh, teenagers from the community? And I said, yes, why not? It sounds like a good idea. And um, so I am, my main interest is to film location. So I started to speak to the teenagers and um, we, we were talking about more like uh, spaces, memories, uh, what locations um, represent, what certain locations represent to them, you know, what are their memories of these locations and what are their fears, what are their hopes and dreams, what is it like to live on an island? Um, really, yes, mainly also their dreams and aspirations. And it's been quite an interesting journey. Um, they were great. They were really great because at first maybe they were a little bit shy, but then slowly, you know, they opened up. And I think, uh, uh, you know, the the video was quite successful. I was going to say, I watched the video and it did make the island look lovely and um, picturesque. And someone who uh, lives on the island every day, I think sometimes you don't always step back and take a look. And uh, seeing that video showed some really nice sort of shots of the island. Yes, and I think, well, for me, my opinion, that's the work of the artist. It's just making look at something with different eyes. And, and I thought the Space Invaders was very much about that. You know, you reinterpret... Uh, you know, the island, and uh, I personally loved it. So for me, it was not very hard to make look like the island beautiful at all. Simone, I'd like to thank you very much for telling the listeners all about uh, your work as part of Space Invaders. <laughs>